Hey, I've got a really fun barbecue appetizer recipe today. Buffalo chicken taters. And I've got a new Gorilla Grill pellet smoker. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is just trim off any excess fat. You can see what I've got here are boneless and skinless chicken thighs. So you could leave a little on like that, no issue. Now you want to come in and season these. Use your favorite chicken rub. You can use salt and pepper if you'd like. I happen to be using this uh, Casa Spice Company uh, chicken seasoning. Um, it's pretty good, but like I say, uh, you, you use whatever your favorite is um, for this part of the recipe. Just going to turn over both sides, season, I should say turn over to the other side and season it as well. One thing you want to do on these, see, see uh, these boneless ones, you, you want to open them up so that you make sure you get seasoning all over your chicken thighs. Hey, full disclosure, the folks out at Grilla sent me this Grilla Grill Smoker. I really do appreciate it. Let's get over to this Grilla and get it all fired up. I've got plenty of pellets in the hopper. We're using fruit wood. We're going to set the temp today to 275. Our Grilla is up to temp. Just going to get our chicken thighs on here, right? And let this Grilla do its job. Plenty of cooking space here. Let's get our lid closed. Now I've got some russet potatoes here. I'm gonna cut those in roughly, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a quarter of an inch or a third of an inch, but you can see there. And I've got, uh, these potatoes really aren't that big. So we'll just get all these guys cut up and then move on to the next step. Here I've just got a wire rack. You could just as easily use a, a, a baking pan. Just going to spray a little, this is olive oil in a can spray. It'll just help these guys uh, to not stick. We'll just get them put on this rack. Then we're just going to, uh, got, you can see I've got them all filled up. I'm going to just lightly spray the top side. And then what I've got here is, uh, it's, uh, it's incredible. This is just a salt, pepper, garlic mixture. You can just sprinkle a little salt and pepper on these if that's what you want to do. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, all-purpose seasonings made by uh, Heaven Made Products. So we'll just get each one all seasoned up like you can see here. And then we're going to get these over to that Grilla grill. Hey, it's been one hour and our chicken is up to about 138. There's what she looks like up close. I'm going to take this chicken off here. Smells good as well. Get her last piece here. Now we're going to come in with those potatoes. Put them on here like so. And then we're going to get our lid shut again. And I'm going to turn our temperature up to 375, 380. 385. Now I'm just shredding up some cheddar cheese. It's one of those 8 ounce blocks that you get in the grocery. There we have it cheddar cheese now i'm just getting my chicken back on here it'll all finish cooking about the same time there's our last piece let's get our lid closed again i've got one cup of irish butter i'm melting down here i've got one cup of louisiana hot sauce you can put a little more in if you want and then we're going to go for about one, two, about two and a half to three teaspoons of granulated garlic. And then we're just going to make sure this all gets melty and the garlic gets mixed in for our buffalo sauce. All right, it's been about 20 more minutes. 
Our chicken is probing 170. It is done. Just going to get it off. Yeah, we're getting close to this one. Get this chicken off. We'll do our final assembly. Now we're just going to shred this chicken. It's um, still a little hot. That's why I'm not using my fingers, which I prefer to do, because I can get it done quicker than using these two forks. I actually think we've got enough chicken here, so I'm not going to shred those last two uh, thighs. If we need them, we can always shred them. And now we're just going to put them in that buffalo sauce, that shredded chicken. Put in the buffalo sauce we made. Make sure we give it a really good stir to get it coated. Oh, smells incredible. Let's pull our potatoes out here. We're getting pretty darn close and we still got to do a little more cooking. Now I've got a slotted spoon here. We're going to put some of that chicken on each of these taters. Now we're coming in with a little of that shredded cheese on each of our buffalo chicken taters. Cut up a little bacon. So I'm just going to top a little bacon here and there. Now we want to get these back on our grilla and let that cheese melt. Let's get our door open. Get these back on here. I'm just going to guess it'll be about 15 minutes. We're still running 375. We've got our potatoes here. Now what I'm going to do just have a little sour cream, don't you think? There they are. Finished product. I say we do a taste test. Here we go. Oh, that is yummy. Oh, those potatoes, they're done. They're almost like uh, potato skin. You're getting that good buffalo seasoning. Hey, you could have used ranch on these if you wanted. You know, buffalo and ranch goes great together. They got a little spice. You get that bacon, chicken, that tater. Absolutely awesome. It takes a little time to prep on these. It's worth every minute. I hope you'll give them a try.